Valmalenko in the Italian Alps, the Ventina Glacier is shrinking year after year. We are on the glacier trail called Vittorio Sella that will lead us to the toe of the Ventina Glacier. Here, we're about 2,050 meters above sea level, and we can see how far the glacier was in 1932. The plaque positioned on that boulder tells us that the glacier was here, so, in less than a century, it shrank by almost one kilometer. Here we can see the two impressive lateral moraines that the glacier formed during the Little Ice Age, the climate period ranging between about 1500 and 1850, and that the glacier completely filled at the time. We can see the borders of the glacier, up there on the right and on the left, along the moraine line. So we're talking of about 100 meters in thickness that's been lost in the last century. More recently, the glacier has been losing about 30 meters each year. Here, at 2,070 meters above sea level, this rock marks the lowest end of the glacier in 1956. In 60 years, the glacier has retreated far beyond that rocky bar that we see up there. What we see here is winter snow, not the glacier, which is well beyond that bar. We finally reached the real glacier, beyond the impressive moraines that are now ice-free. In recent years, there has been almost no winter snow to feed the glacier. This ice loss, which happens year after year, is not only a problem for the glacier's environment, but also for water supply across the valley around the River Po. During the summer, this valley, Pianora Padana, is very dependent on the water coming from the glaciers, which accounts for about 10 to 15 percent of the flow rates of the affluents on the left bank of the River Po. As glaciers recede, this problem can be exacerbated. The affluents on the left bank of the Po will have less water during the summer months and will tend to have a volume similar to the smaller Apennine rivers, which get no water from glaciers. Human activities and climate change have had a dramatic impact on Ventina and the other glaciers of the Lombardy region. Just a few decades ago, nobody could have imagined how much they would melt and gradually disappear from the landscape.